Good afternoon, everybody, and thank you very much for the opportunity to present to you all today. I'm going to tell you a short story about coffee and what I believe is a hugely wasted opportunity in this industry's supply chain. We drink over 500 billion cups of coffee each year globally, creating over 25 million tons of waste and emitting 90 million tons in CO2 emissions. I'm the co-founder and CEO of a company called BioBean, which turns that waste into two biofuel products, both a biodiesel, which is used in urban transport systems, and a biomass pellet used for heating buildings. We're currently operating at a prototype scale in the UK, and to give an idea of that feedstock market, about 500,000 tonnes of waste coffee grounds are produced each year, predominantly from instant coffee factories and retail coffee outlets. This produces almost 2 million tonnes in CO2 emissions and costs just over 65 million euros each year in waste disposal costs. In three points, BioBean is a green company. We, by year three, will have saved over 1 million tonnes in CO2 emissions um, to date. It's also um, operating currently at a small scale, and essentially we're asking for this money in order, in order to be able to scale up our prototype facility and uh, fulfill some of the partnerships that we've currently worked on negotiating to date. And also, it's entirely circular. We, our process produces no waste, and, and from that we produce two carbon-neutral fuel products. To give an idea about what this could actually do, from just one tonne of waste coffee grounds, that saves seven tonnes in CO2 emissions. And to put that in, to give you a, a data point for that, that's the equivalent of driving a car from here in Amsterdam to Beijing and back <laughs> twice. <laughs> and that's just from one tonne. So imagine if this could be applied at a macro scale. And that's exactly what BioBean is looking to do, to industrialize this process and, and bring it to, to scale. To talk you through how this process works, the coffee waste is backhauled. When people think of BioBean, they immediately think of collecting small amounts of coffee from thousands of coffee shops all over the country, which is obviously both inefficient environmentally and economically. We look to aggregate this waste, working with our partners, and bring it back to consolidation facilities, from which, instead of dealing with a unit of a small two and a half or five kilogram bin bag, we deal with a 35-yard skip, so about the size of this stage. There, the waste is delivered to our facility, um, where it's processed into advanced biofuels. The oil is extracted use our, using our patented technology, and then the residual biomass is then pelletized to turn into a pellet, as I say, which is then sold for heating buildings and powering transport systems. Um, I founded the company just over a year ago with my business partner, Benjamin Harriman, and we've since gone on to um, expand our team, um, taking on um, leading biochemical and mechanical engineers, as well as financiers and people in sales and other, other walks of life. And um, as I say, developed a uh, prototype facility, um, which um, is currently operating, um, processing uh, upwards of 10 tons of waste coffee grounds each day. Um, and essentially, the, what we're able to do with these, this 500,000 euros is scale that facility and fulfill some of the partnerships we've negotiated date with some very, very large companies operating not just in the UK, but also multinational um, in many cases. So over the coming uh, months, um, we're hoping to um, fully establish our facility and scale it up, fulfilling those contracts, and then develop a franchi franchisable business model, which can be applied as effectively, not just in London or the UK, but also here in Amsterdam, or else in Seattle, or Singapore, or elsewhere in the world. In terms of impact and potential CO2 savings, by year three, we hope to be saving over one million tons in CO2 emissions each year by operating at full, full capacity in the UK. And if this was applied across Northern and Western Europe, that figure would look more like 10 million tons. And then if we took it globally, over 150 million tons of, in CO2 emissions saved each year. At BioBean, we're operating under a very simple premise. There is no such a thing as waste. Simply resources in the wrong place. Thank you very much. <laughs>